This is the blessed Lawrence who gave himself for the treasure of the church. For this he earned the suffering of martyrdom to ascend with joy to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most ridiculous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply, multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be an everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm in trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever, his horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. 
Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The liturgy of today reminds us about one of the basic principles of life. You know, as we sow, so we reap. You know, but in modern times, we want less input, but more output. But the gospel message is different. The more that you give, the more that you receive. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Lawrence, one of the second century martyr. He was a deacon. The Roman emperor accused the church of having a lot of treasures and then demanded that from the church. So he presented before the Roman Empire the poor, the lame, the sick. And he says, these are the treasures of the church. So he was ordered to be martyred. So he's known for the love for his poor. And the gospel passage and first reading of today reminds us the same thing. As Christians, we are called upon to follow in the footstep of our Lord and Master. John would say, Jesus came so that we may have a life in abundance. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, Let's ask the grace from the Lord. So what will we do in our life that we may do it cheerfully, willingly for the sake of the kingdom? Please rise. Let's place our praise and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. As we commemorate St. Lawrence the Martyr, let's remember and pray for all the Christians all over the world undergoing persecutions for their faith, we pray to the Lord. As members of the church, that we may cultivate an ardent love for the poor and the needy, we pray to the Lord. That we may continually remember all the blessings that God continue to shower upon us, we pray to the Lord. Let's thank the good Lord for he blessed us with a successful festival where everyone came together 
work together, and the community came, and everyone had a wonderful time. We pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Jacob Raskos, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, a loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. As we commemorate today the great saint, for his faith. Grant us the grace as we praise, as we face challenges and difficulties on our way, that we may face them courageously for the sake of the kingdom and for you. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Bless our Lord, get of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this wine and water, we may come to share the living to Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanses from our sins. Precious sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they may become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly wide and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Lawrence, poured out like Christ in, to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weaknesses you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without the end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fond of all fallen lands. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy us all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Lord, of the Father, and of the Holy Spirit, you have the broad life to the world, free me by your most holy body and blood from every sin and evil, and keep me always faith your commandments, and never let me part from you, may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will be my servant be, says the Lord. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service, which should be rendered on the Feast of St. Lawrence, may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ uh, our Lord. We should pray together, pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in bad. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit go forth. The Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. 
and I also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day.